Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to switch bikes in Zwift very fast. I primarily use this technique for Zwift Fondos where most of the course is on pavement but there's always a section of the course that is the jungle circuit where using a mountain bike is much faster than just using the road bike. Our baseline for changing bikes without any optimization is about 45 seconds. You have to slow to a stop, open the menu, open your garage, select your new bike, then exit the menus and pedal back up to speed. The optimized process will drop that time to around 15 seconds. If riding casually, then this method probably won't be very beneficial. However, if you're against the clocks, such as in a Fondo event, switching bikes fast and at the right places will help you turn in those faster times. So here's the method. First, you open the pairing screen using the keyboard shortcut A. This will slow the bike to a stop faster than just coasting. Exit the menu once almost stopped by using the shortcut Escape then immediately open your garage by using keyboard shortcut T. Navigate the menu as normal to switch your bike. The arrow keys can make this faster. And once you have the new bike selected, immediately start pedaling to start getting back up to speed. Now that you're getting back up to speed, you can just exit the menus as usual or by pressing escape a few times. If you're using a phone or a tablet, then the keyboard shortcuts won't be available to you, but you can still benefit from some time savings as you'll see when we dive into the method in detail. Here's a breakdown of where time loss occurs and why this method works. First, the benefit of using keyboard shortcuts. Time spent in the menu without the shortcuts is about 13 seconds. Add four seconds if you wanna switch a wheel set as well as the frame. With the shortcuts, the time spent is only seven seconds, so already a six second savings. But the majority of the time loss for changing bikes is spent slowing to a stop and getting back up to a speed. This is because Zwift requires you to be stopped in order to switch bikes. Slowing to a stop from 25 miles per hour takes about 15 seconds, whereas slowing from 10 miles an hour takes only six seconds. With the pairing menu open, the times reduce to six seconds to slow from 25 miles an hour and just three seconds from 10 miles an hour. It is worth noting that opening and closing the pairing menu can take an additional one to two seconds. I'll add a note that these times are just a baseline for the purpose of explaining the method. The actual times, of course, vary a little rider to rider and road section to road section. But we can see that it is better to switch bikes when you are already at a low speed because the time loss will be a lot less. Also, opening the pairing screen applies the brakes and can greatly reduce the time to stop. At faster speeds, most of the time spent will be pedaling back up to speed. To go from a stop to about 25 miles per hour will take anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds whereas going from a stop to 10 miles an hour can easily be done in four seconds. Knowing this, we can conclude that the best time to switch bikes is when you're already going at a low speed, such as during an incline. When going into the jungle circuit, don't switch to the mountain bikes when you first hit the dirt because you're going downhill and you're carrying a lot of speed. Instead, wait a little bit for a slight uphill and your speed will drop. The base level mountain bike is 7% faster than the fast road bike on this circuit. The 15 second time loss from switching bikes is easily made up given the length of the jungle circuit. The fastest riders turn in times of around 11 minutes on the circuit, which equates to 45 seconds saved by just switching to a mountain bike. However, switching bikes for climbs is not as beneficial. The difference between the most aero frame and wheel set versus the fastest climbing frame and wheel set is only about 1.1%. So it doesn't make as much sense to change unless it's a long climb such as the Epic KOM or Alp to Zwift. And even then, the time saved will likely be made up by having a more aero bike on the descent. A couple final thoughts on switching bikes to turn in faster times. One, the slower of a rider you are, the more of a difference changing bikes will make because being aero means less at these lower speeds. And number two, there are times when it doesn't make sense to switch bikes as if the length of the segment is short or if switching means losing the draft. The time savings from drafting is typically much greater than having a different bike. Leave a comment below if you have any other questions or thoughts to share about switching bikes fast on Zwift. Maybe even suggest a faster method. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.